Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another lot showcase for The Sims 4. So I figured I would show off a vampire themed lot since the Vampires game pack came out recently. So this is called Gone Batty, and it's by Carter12. And I do want to show something I found that's a little interesting. So when I click on the lot just in my library, it still shows the comments and not the packs that it uses. But then when I go to community, what the heck? Where did it go? It was seriously right here. <laughs> um, okay, this is awkward. Okay, <laughs> now it's there. Gosh, this, this game just hates me sometimes. <laughs> But, yeah, see, look, now, when I view it, like, just online on the community part, then it shows the packs that it uses. So, yeah, that was just something odd that I wanted to point out. But anyways, uh, read off the specs here. So, it is a residential lot. It's on a 30 by 30 lot. It has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it's valued at 181,308 simoleons. And it uses content from Sims 4 Vampires, Sims 4 Get Together, City Living, Vintage Glamour, Cool Kitchen, Spooky Stuff, Get to Work, Movie Hangout, Romantic Garden, Kids Room, Dine Out, Outdoor Retreat, and Spa Day. Alright, so let's get into this showcase. So this is, it is on a 30 by 30 lot, it actually fits in really well here in the empty lot that's uh, it's just empty by default there's no lots on it or anything so you can very easily fit this into your save if you want to so let's start off with the outside here so the mailbox is all the way off to the side here which i find very interesting as well as the uh, garbage bin and you have some really uh, some really nice plaids uh, framed by some fences here and you got another tree over here that has some uh, some plants and rocks around it. it. Looks very nice. I'm pretty sure uses move objects on and oh, there's even like um, like the vines from vampires that are used to really nice effect here. I like that a lot. And there's uh, there's a woohoo bush as well. That's pretty funny. Oh, actually, on both sides of, of the front, there's one. Oh man, just just imagine it's just like you're walking by this house and then you see. Like two vampires just going at it in the woohoo bush, or <laughs> even crazier, you have like one couple in this bush and then another in that one at the same time. Oh my goodness, that'd be that'd be just crazy. But then over here, you got like some of the vines, and you got some nice windows on the side as well. Oh, okay, so in the back here, you have a garden with some planters. That's really nice. Again, nicely framed by some fences and some trees and other plants as well. Another woohoo bush <laughs> behind here. Oh, that's funny. All right, and then, yeah, there isn't too much on the side here, but still looks pretty nice anyways. So let's go inside here. Okay, hold on. There we go. Flip the walls to cut away. So you just, like, come in here. And then you've got a big old staircase. Wow, this is a very interesting interior. Lots of brick and concrete slab. You got this really nice kitchen over here. Lots of space. I like how there's also kind of like this nook over here that has the dishwasher and the coffee machine and a microwave. And then over here is where you got like the stove. And oh, the fridge is over here. Okay, I see. And then you got like a little uh, dessert cart over there. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. It's uh, it's it's decorative, but still, it's kind of a cute touch there. And yeah, you got like the counter uh, islands there. You can just like sit and have a drink or something, I guess. And then over here, you got looks like a living room that uses some of the new furniture from vampires. Interesting. You got like the treasure chest here, so you could also store some collectibles and let's let's just have Miriam sit in this chair I don't know <laughs> feel like doing that and then you got this uh you got this couch over here which 
I think I, yeah, I did say this in my reaction video for the reveal trailer for Vampires, but yeah, this really looks like it would go well with Vintage Glamour Stuff's furniture. I think I did see the glow bar earlier, somewhere in this house. <laughs> yeah, it's a very interesting chair, for sure. And yeah, you got like the TV above the fireplace, so you got your uh, modern amenities as well. So let's go over here. Okay, so you just kind of got like, oh, this is where the glow bar is. And you got some red and black, yes! And the glow bar and the chairs, and you got the pipe organ here, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Play some terrible music. Uh, no, you're not, you're not going to go to sleep just yet. All right, where should we go next? Let's. Looks like there is some kind of office over here. Turn the walls for a second. Okay. Okay, very interesting. You just got like a little seating area. You got a radiator, and you also have some bookshelves. Just, yeah, it's just like a place to sit down and read so about some vampire lore, I guess. <laughs> That music. All right. So then, over here, you got, it looks like a separate dining room. Yeah, it's it's separate from the kitchen. Okay, that's interesting. And you got like a mirror over here where you won't see your reflection if you're a vampire. And yeah, it's just a very nice, classy-looking dining area. Oh, I like the use of the uh, little um, decorative shelf from Cool Kitchen stuff. That actually matches really well with the rest of the furniture in this room especially just like the dining set that's really neat and then what else do we got here oh okay we got we got a bathroom all right it does have a bath oh it's like a shower tub combo okay that's cool then we got the toilet i think this is with new with the vampires game pack actually i think all of this might be new i'm not sure about the shower and tub i haven't like look at every single object in this game pack yet because I kind of like exploring things a little bit slowly but yeah I'm pretty sure at least the toilet is new with vampires oh that's interesting like they use the doors from a get together to go to the outside here so you got like a little back porch hmm I'm kind of surprised there's nowhere to sit but I guess it's just meant to be like a nice little pathway and then you got uh, this pathway that just goes right to the garden, which we looked at a bit earlier. So I guess it's time to move on up a floor. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Okay, so where do we start from? Okay, so when you come up the stairs, you just are in this hallway here, and then you just kind of walk, and then, okay, we got another bathroom over here. Oh, interesting. He cuts the meditation stool from Spa Day. So, yeah, that actually kind of makes this bathroom more interesting than most that I've seen in lot showcases so far. Where it's just like, yeah, you, it's more than just a bathroom. You can also uh, just come here to meditate and just, like, think about life. <laughs> so you got uh, more of the vampire's bathroom furniture here. Wow, I really like the black and red combo on this uh, toilet here. It looks really nice. And you got lots of curtains uh, covering the window. All right, so let's go over here. So I think this is the master bedroom. It sure looks like it. And yeah, this, this screams vampires to me for sure. Like this house definitely does fit in really well with Forgotten Hollow. Yeah, got that really nice black and red going. Oh, you got like some shimmering wallpaper. That's cool. I think this is new with vampires as well. Because I know like the what the vintage glamour uh, shimmering wallpaper looks like, and it has a different pattern. So that's cool. They kind of just rolled with that cool technology and just implemented that into more wallpaper. So I definitely wouldn't mind seeing more of that in future packs. You got like two chairs over here, some candles. Yeah, some nice use of uh, vintage glamour decor as well. Okay, so let's move on to this room over here. Okay, so I think this is meant to be... Oh no, it's, it's, a, it's in a bedroom. I thought it was just like a playroom, but 
No, you actually do have a bed here too. <laughs> it uses the creepy reaper gnome. I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> and you got like the Hotel Transylvania like character plush over here. You got uh, the drawing table. And you've got some cute little panda chairs from the toddler's patch <laughs> right here. Um, so you can watch the puppet show. <laughs> That's really cool. Nice mixture of different uh, different content from different packs used here. That's for sure. Yeah, very well done bedroom. I like this. All right, so let's go across the hall here. All right, so this room I did take a little peek at earlier. And this is interesting because this is basically your toddler nursery. So if you have some vampire toddlers, then this is the place to put them in. Even got like the new vampires bassinet over here, and uh, you got you got two actually, so you can have like a really big vampire family if you want to. That that's really cool. And you got like the blarfy <laughs> plushy bear, and more bear chairs in the toddler's uh, bookshelf. Ooh, very nice colors here as well with this wallpaper. And you got the toy chest as well, so you can. Uh, Toddlers can like build their skills. But let's go over to this bedroom over here. Interesting. So you got like a coffin and uh, and an actual like normal double bed. Let's see, see what she'll actually look like sleeping in here because she's not a vampire. I still have her as a normal sim. So this is news to me that normal sims can actually use the coffins. Apparently, you can even engrave epitaphs just like. On graves? What? Okay. Very interesting. But yeah, I do like the colors uh, going here as well. Well, how about that? She does just... Oh, wait. It, what was the animation? Like, it just like popped shut. I don't know. It looked like it was just because of the time going by, but... Okay. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about this better rather than that it is interesting that it has both a coffin and a normal bed in it. <laughs> I love that. You could just have a normal human sim just sleep in the coffin. Like, yeah, you could just have like a total uh, vampire fanatic doing that. But anyways, I'm getting a little bit off topic here. Let's go over to the next room. So we got an office over here. Interesting. It even uses the curved computer from City Living to interesting effect because it does match with the rest of this room too and you got a treadmill over here and the guitar and the tv so you can watch tv while working out got a loudspeaker over here hmm very very interesting assortment of things that you can do in here and then what's this oh okay this is just kind of like a an upstairs balcony okay you just like hold on let's actually see what the view is like we just like if we were pretending we were just playing as a sim in first person okay yeah not a bad view of the town center the tree does obscure it a little bit but that's the world's fault and <laughs> not really so much the house creator's fault unless you just kind of look at it like this and the tree can like fade from the camera distance uh okay is there anything else that i I haven't looked at it yet? No, it looks like I've covered everything. Yes, I have. Alright, well, that pretty much wraps up this slot showcase then. So overall, I think this would be a really solid addition to your Forgotten Hollow if you're still looking for a lot to place in the vacant lot here. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll... I don't know what I'll place in the empty lot in my actual gameplay save, but... Yeah, overall, like I think uh, Carter12 did a really great job on this lot. Definitely uh, recommend downloading it. And maybe just fast forward a little bit so you can see it during the day in a minute or two. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. So be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe because it lets me know that you like my channel and my videos. And it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content from me. As I do videos on The Sims, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more. So I'll talk to you later, guys, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Alright, and that's...
pretty much what it looks like during the day in Forgotten Hollow. And Mariam has acquired the video game music skill. Oh, thank you for going to sleep so the time goes faster. <laughs> Alright. 